You can see it's very big country, very really large country. Actually, it's the largest country in the world. Some people think it's China, but actually Russian Federation is the largest country in the world. And when I, when I was a child, and uh, it was Soviet Union, and uh, in elementary school we studied what Soviet Union is one, one, eight, one sixth of all Earth land. <laughs> So, can you, but now, of course, now it became smaller, but still largest country in the world. You have an idea if I want to go for from Vladivostok to Moscow, how long does it take by train or bus? Is anyone? Has anyone, <laughs> Has anyone on train? No, you one week. one week. You're right. Actually, it's one week or maybe eight days. No. But, more, more, nine more than one week. So seven um, days, eight days to go all over. Russia. Just over, yes. And actually, um, it's there is there are nine time zones nine time in zones. Russia. So when people in Vladivostok wake up, people in Moscow go to sleep. So it's completely different time. So uh, people moved a lot and still move a lot now. So it's, maybe it's a very difficult question for Russians if you ask them, where are you from in Russia, for example? <laughs> because some, because uh, people who was bo were born in some place and grew up in different places, like and you, for like me, for example, and in my case, all members of my family, my mother, father, and both uh, my grandfathers, nobody lives in place when they were born. born, were born. So all of them move? Yes. Okay. So it's very, very complicated. It's very dif difficult to explain. Actually, I am from somewhere, but my mom from somewhere, but she grew up there, but not were born there. <laughs> So easy, like, yes, yeah. very difficult to explain, but it's it's our life. It's um, so who's ordinary Russian man? What does an ordinary yes. Russian man do? How, how, uh, how is you know, well, what is his uh, hobbies? What is his lifestyle? Uh, if he's in his 30s or 40s, I think he's divorced or married second time. <laughs> so why is that? Is it common for Russian people to marry and then divorce? Um, it's Of course it's not for all people. It's yeah. not for all people in the country, but most people get married very, very early. Oh, why? 20 or something. Because of Even, parents? Um, it's very old-fashioned, I think, but uh, mothers still say to daughters, 25 is too Late <laughs> or something. So um, when I was student, half of my classmates, classmates uh, got married um, nineteen or twenty. <laughs> wow. And of course, the Russian love parties. What kind of parties? What kind of Family parties? gatherings, friends. Usually, yes. Of course, uh, nowadays people go to a restaurant and celebrate something at the restaurant. But for example, for Russians, it's really strange when Japanese people go to Izakaya for two hours. It's too short. Really. <laughs> it's nothing to do two hours in Izakaya, Not like Bonekai or something. <laughs> it's unbelievable things. <laughs> because it's the Russian people do parties at home, it starts about two or three o'clock and finish it maybe late night or next morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or even next morning, yeah. Wow. And even if People go to restaurant. It's not for two hours. It's maybe five, seven. I don't know. So what um, time do restaurants close? Uh, with, with last last order. order with, with last clients. Oh, maybe. Really? So they wait. <laughs> Some of course not not 
not all restaurants, but usually, yes, it's not only two hours in Izaka, it's unbelievable. So, so um, Russian, Russians like Japanese food, and you can find soy sauce, noi, or something, maybe at all supermarkets. And do people Even, know about Japanese food? Of course, like, yes. If you, I go and say sashimi, they know sashimi. Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. They know. Even in small supermarkets in my hometown, uh, you can buy a pack of sushi, for example. Of course, it's not delicious, but anyway. <laughs> you can find it. Yes, you can find it and you can uh, make sushi roll or something by yourself because it's really, really famous. And, and um, I just, uh, at last, I just want to. Talking about one Russian pro proverb. Proverb. Uh -huh. proverb. Um, it's yes. really strange saying. It's not my opinion, just opinion on, of uh, most Russian people. Laughing without a reason compromises your intellectual aptitude. So, so it does it explain mean, why we have an image of it cold means, Russian people? <laughs> it means Russian people need a reason for smiling. Oh. So that is really bad um, uh, stereotype maybe what the Russian What if I are... enter a store? Mm -hmm. What if I enter a shop, a store? People, I mean the staff is going to be like, hi, welcome. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know, or if they do that, you feel, you feel, I feel, I feel strange. Oh, really? <laughs> because they... why, why are they smiling? What, what was the reason? <laughs> why oh, why okay. the smile for? Yes. Actually, maybe it's um, maybe my opinion a little bit old okay. or different. Yes, I think smiling is very good. I think laughing is very good with the reasons or without the reasons. But maybe most people feel a little bit nervous and not smiling for strange, not smiling for people who they don't, don't know. know. Uh, or may I ask if mm -hmm. it's a thing of old people or young people follow that too? Mm, maybe all young people more open, but mm, still, I, it's still, yes, to have a reason to laugh. So, but anyway, if you if you became friends with Russia, if you show them what you are friend, if you show you are you are you. Are, you don't yes, don't right. have yeah you don't you you haven't no bad stereotypes. I think you will find a lot of friends and you you can live and study and everything in Russia. Why not? So Russian people are not cold. It's a bad stereotype. Can, can you not hot, but <laughs> not warm. but warm. Okay. But warm and comfortable, I think. So, um, I just, um, actually I have lived in other countries like UK, for example, and when I realized when I lived there that there is no bad country. It, Russia is not wrong, England is not wrong, but Japan is very, very special. It's not a special country, it's somewhere it's a special planet maybe. <laughs> so different. <laughs> so, different. <laughs> so maybe we should have talk about not Russian or Japan. Japan. We we have to talk about Japan and other countries, <laughs> Europe, for example. But it's not topic for <laughs> today's lecture. Okay. So. Uh... Well, let's finish this presentation. Thank you very much for explaining so many things about Russia. Let's come for you. <laughs>